Hello traders, I should have marked on the charts here. This is part two. In the previous session, we were just looking at day trading the M2K, the mini, or I should say really the micro Russell. And as I pointed out in that video, if you haven't seen it, I will put on this session one, if you're watching this for the first time, say session two, which um, I really should put on there. Let me just do this now, session two, whoops, one, um, just um, so everyone knows. Okay, so this is um, session two, let me just put this down here. Okay, we're really looking at how to uh, reprice action from the right hand side of the chart. Now, as you do get underway, do you need to put up the disclaimer? There is a risk in trading. As you're watching a recording, you are able to go back and, um, or you can pause the recording, of course. If you haven't already done so, click on the link below to get hold of my uh, ebook, a training manual, and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Now, as mentioned in the last video, we're looking at the micro eight tick Renko. So do a search on YouTube if you're looking for part one, where I explain uh, $2 per step, all right? And we're after, on average, six steps to 10 steps per trade. And we do also use the same principles on tick. And in fact, I'll look at both. And the end objective is $50 a day minimum. If you've got 1,000 in your account and you average $50 a day, and every time you earn $1,000, you start trading your second contract, only when you get one an extra 1,000, you have the potential by week, where are we here? Week um, down here, a uh, week 18 of earning $10,000 a week, 25,000 a week by week, 23 and let me say this for the experienced traders looking at this no you would not be trading 36 micros at that stage you'd be trading four large contracts and you go up to five then you go up to six and you go to seven then you go to nine okay so you'd be trading the big contracts at this rate however this is an excellent market to start, particularly if you're going to be trading uh, during the New York hours. So the Russell is a fantastic uh, New York hours um, uh, symbol to trade, All right? It doesn't do, it does, you know, you get some trends in the Globex session, but uh, nowhere near as much. You're better off really trading the, uh, the NASDAQ or the micro uh, NASDAQ during the Globex hours and even the E-mini is a great market to trade. So let's get back to this. So what I was just explaining here, we've got, we had a divergence trade here. If I only had divergence on this particular chart, on this particular chart, only on my uh, entry chart, I wouldn't be interested in that trade. Now, on the other hand, let me go over to here. That was this point just there we were looking at was right there and damn it I didn't sorry I didn't mean to go forward yet but it was right there I've got no divergence and I've got no divergence here so I personally probably wouldn't have taken that specific trade okay even though it worked out mighty fine because we just had a nice little six to eight step move so each one of these steps is worth two dollars and there's a nice reversal now as we come back down, and so uh, because we jumped ahead a little bit, I may as well just leave it here now. As we come back down, this also can be what we call a danger zone because notice your EMAs. Now, where you can still do well in trading these zones, where you trade the swings, where you get a breakaway from the moving averages. So see how we've got them are all intertwined, okay? Um, railway tracks, call them whatever you like, okay? But that is chop as far as they go. What I'm looking for, and Bill Williams describes this really well in his good book called Pro The Profit or called Profitunity, is that he calls this the gator is starting to wake up. Now it started to wake up here, but then it closed its mouth. So he sort of says that's the upper jaw, that's the lower jaw. Now no, I don't use the same um, offset moving averages he uses. Okay, I just use standard EMAs. It's all I use, but the principle is the same, okay? We're starting to get hungry. Now, what about this as a trade? Now, what we look at traders 
is we this is where I will refer back to the anchor charts because remember this is what we call the, the uh, EC, the entry chart, the much lower time frame. Then we've got the anchor chart one, anchor chart two. We're looking at trading in the direction of the higher time frame. Now, if we just look at it just here, and this is exactly what you'd be looking at, except I may as well pull this over here as well. What's the trend bias, traders? Look at your anchor chart one. This is a 200 period EMA, it's heading up. Look at your anchor chart two. Okay, we're in a definite uptrend. So what we're looking at doing traders is trading in the direction of the higher time frame. And this is where if you wanna go for a runner or for those 10 step moves, this is what we want to look for, for these moves. Okay, when we get a bounce off the higher time frame EMAs. Let's just talk entries, stops and targets. For my entry, I'm looking for three higher closes here on my Renko. And actually, in fact, I would use, excuse me, I'll just turn this air conditioning off, that's that beep. Um, for my entry, I'd use a buy stop, which means as soon as this first green candle forms. There's a formula that I use which will put me exactly one tick above. If I saw this red candle and I wanted to trade this short, I would have sitting down here a sell stop. So that when I do come down, I'm automatically stopped into those trades. So my, my entry is one tick above, my stop goes one tick below, and what that actually works out to be is a $13 stop on this particular market and on this time frame. okay? Now, where are our targets? Well, first of all, I've got to get past these EMAs up here, okay? And see how I'm sort of crossing over, so there is a chance I could get a bounce. However, uh, probability is I'm gonna to continue to the long side because look at the trend bias. Now remember, with trading, there are no certainties. There are only probabilities. And that's where you really need to think in, I call it thinking like a casino. I'm basically, I basically have my own casino traders because I have rules and probabilities. And isn't that what really a casino works on? That's the solution to your trading, to think in probabilities. Now, what I do know from this setup, I've got a 75% chance of this setup giving me at least six to 10 steps. Okay, I've got a great chance. Now, if only giving me five steps, the probabilities increase. The larger the move that you're seeking, your probabilities will fall. However, here's my swing high for the day and the midline pivot. And as I've spoken about many times, our pivots are predictive, all right? So they're very predictive. So I'm sort of targeting up here for that pivot. So we're in it. I'm after a minimum of six steps. So let's, I know I'm using a buy stop and one tick above, but let me just call this by one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, see the tails? Maybe it's a little hard for you to see just there. If you can see the tails of those bricks there, note that's right at, they would have looked like reversal candles and that's right at those major EMAs, fairly typical. So where were we? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, and at six, you would definitely be at break even. All right, maybe even lock in and cover your commissions. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, as we approach the pivot, I want to bring, if you're still in the trade, I want to bring my stop right up because at pivots, we nearly always will get some resistance or we'll get a bounce. Happens every single day. All right, so there, that was 10, or we might be out there. And a lot of traders will get out this level, it's called front running, just before you hit the pivot. 11, now note there, just above, all right, right at the pivot. Now, if you're in my live coaching room, as you know, the things we do then is we're looking down here, and I won't scroll these along, I'll just leave these open for now. Um, so we don't know what's about to happen over here, but I've got no divergence here. All right, so I've got no reason to really take any trade here at yet at this stage. Now, what I do have here 
is my EMAs are starting to fan all right and most of you realize that when my gold crosses above the cyan I'm I'm in the market okay I'm really looking for a trade here now what I want though is I want to see the super scalper plot when I've got a really strong uptrend or downtrend I might be happy to jump in uh, using a short-term stochastic hook on the first candle okay but when I've got a sideways market I really want to see three higher closes that is not three higher closes okay so very important now I'm still not in even though this is plotted I'm still not in I must have three high closes now the super scalper would have plotted but it hasn't qualified yet now I've got three high closes now as soon as I started to have that there I put a buy stop in one tick above there and as I mentioned is a formula that I use and look and if it doesn't go up there and, and stop me in and keeps dropping down I'll either cancel my order or I'll drag it down whichever I choose so now traders what am I going to now do so if we look at the market that we've got here now I've got to get past this pivot we are in a lot of chop one of the things we'd be looking at and I may as well show you here do I have divergence on my MACD here on the anchor charts now if I look at this move here I do have a little bit that was it just there but not not dramatic but look at my EMAs with, with sideways so I'm not really interested in this yet but let's go long it is a higher risk trade I will also point that out why is that a higher risk trade because my EMAs are sideways we have a, a golden rule or something that we say do I have a fanning of the EMAs meaning are the EMAs separating well not yet they're not but it looks like it look where the gold is it's above the cyan the cyan's above the purple okay so where the, the order of a stacking is fine so away we go now ideally we're after 10 steps but let's say one two three four five six now if you went to break even plus one or two here you would have been stopped out and I think I mentioned this in my last video or it might have been one of my other training videos is this if you're trading multiple contracts and if you want to scalp the crap out of the market that's what I call it take your first contract or first contracts off at say plus six and trail your seconds particularly when you start to get this sort of action just here this is what we call a fanning of the EMAs just here okay let's talk targets say if you're still long you might be out with your first contract you picked up your six steps which is twelve dollars per contract uh, seven eight nine oh, well there's our ten anyway all right so you've easily got your ten but where's our exit if you were trailing now I just got to quickly mention this if you're trailing if you say trading one single contract I recommend you go for a fixed profit target okay it's best for one contract traders or fast markets let's get the cash register ringing it's also a great confidence booster you can use a trailing stop we call a two candle uh, you can be targeting your pivots uh, your major swing highs uh, you can be using measured moves some um, standard error bands uh, waiting for divergence we can use trend line breaks we can wait for two reversal candles there you can wait for those you can use high Kanashi or even the combination of ha which is high Kanashi etc there's a whole lot of stuff there oh and even this one here uh, which is here is using the Jake Bernstein method of the eight by eight okay so we've got a number of different strategies but let's keep it easy right now okay but what I do want to know is this is where are my pivots above this is a midline pivot and there is my main pivot there this is now midnight Eastern sorry uh, Central Standard Time USA see how close the pivots are together we're normally very much further apart it's because it's midnight Sunday night and the market opens at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Sunday afternoon which is Monday morning down under in Australia and so the markets only open for a number of hours then it rolls over so if you're using pivots to go midnight to midnight okay it can skew with your pivots a little 
now just here and right here now uh, let's just look at what have I got there so I'm just going across here and right here so that to there let me get this one up to there as well and I just want to show you what I'm looking for on my anchor charts now on my anchor charts here I've got no divergence here at all and I've just got to make sure I've got the right spot here on the and of course normally in real time these are scrolling over so it's easy in real time but this is a so that's it actually there so this is a really good example um, I'm just trying to show you when the market's not ticking over and flying it's the principles exactly the same now uh, and just on that point, I've got to say this, if a market is moving, if this time frame's moving too fast, you either stand aside or you increase the time frame. You know, because the trades I'm showing you, the only reason these don't work is either the market's moving too quickly and you miss the entry, uh, or you you lack focus, uh, or you're in a sideways market, or your stop's too small. Most of them are based on human error. Because the point is, let's remember the principle here we're looking at trading in the direction of our higher time frames and I think I mentioned this one on this video at the start if you find that two time frames anchor charts are, are oops that's not what I want to do um, just use the one to begin with but I love having the even higher time frame now what have I got just here I've got a higher high on price I've got a lower high on my MACD Okay, I've got a divergence trade just there All right so looking at this traders uh, I've got a short signal now it's a bounce off a midline pivot it is a higher risk trade so my targets going to be around about the floor pivot area down here okay so let's just see so one two ups that's a good uh, it's a good remember my stop I should say is one tick above of uh, its one two three four five now remember how I mentioned to you about taking what the market will give you and the risk reward here I would probably and I wasn't trading live at this stage I would have probably got out right here at five steps it's ten dollars per contract if I was trading this market at that time why because when we always will, and there it is there we get a bounce okay so now I've got a potential long entry here I've got three higher closes now we've got something that I call insurance if ever you get a deep pullback or if you're not really quite sure what the market's doing because of a lot of chop wait for your first candle to close on your anchor chart one okay so I want to see my first candle to close back in the direction of the trend now on the, this is quite choppy here and oh, and there it is there we would have been stopped out of this trade now what it means is it will get you in uh, usually one step later two dollars later but it's great insurance so let me just see so watch this here we're pulling back and why don't we just do this just to here see how right there I've, I'm still all red see that by waiting for this candle here to close and this is the one I know I can see a red candle on the other side we'll see what happened there but that qualifies me okay and let me just do this damn it it's not what I meant to do sorry but we may as well do it. so see here it got me in basically two dollars later but you can see how it saved me from this losing trade now for my members that are watching this so there's there's a long trade um, and that is we have a strategy it's a, it's a trade setup I call it bet the farm now it's a tongue-in-cheek expression uh, we don't really bet the farm we follow our exact same risk reward rules um, uh, or oh, sorry our, our risk maximum of two percent but say if you're trading uh, at only a one percent of your capital this is the ideal time where you would add to your position because this is what we call a bet the farm where you've got a double bottom against the 200 with divergence in the direction of the trend this is what we call a loaded trade okay so there's a great chance to add and there is another six to ten to twelve how many um, <clears throat> excuse me 
pardon me, how many, um, uh, what was I going to say then? How many <laughs> steps you're looking at as a target? Now, once again, you can see here, we've rallied right up to the pivot just there. You can see that there. So we've got our typical pivot bounce, tiny bit of divergence. Now, uh, for members that are watching this, look how close they end over 34. So it's not included or it doesn't uh, qualify. And here, now, I've got my first, here it is just there. Look, a little bit, this is a bit, look, the, 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 the divergence here is very dodgy. It's too, it's too dangerous. So we're not going to take that. Look, here's what's really important. And I'll finish with this over the next couple of minutes because we're already 20 minutes in this video. Traders, this is a fatal mistake that new traders make. They want to uh, trade both divergence and with trend. The only trade I want you to trade is with the trend initially. And I'll, I, I can almost guarantee you success if you follow the rules then, right? Because um, traders want to pick tops and bottoms all the time. What you're looking at what you want to trade is that. You might have taken that, but all right, it's still with trend, even though it's a loss. You want to take that one. That was with the with trend trade. Why was that with trend? Because you were trading in the direction of the higher time frame. Okay, see that there? That's called a 21B, that's called a 34B, just there. All right, now this is where you really start to take notice of divergence. See here how you've got three higher highs, but see how also I'm almost running parallel with the cyan line. See that there, traders? This is a, you know, you've got to really watch this. We're new into a trend and divergence traders quite often get killed here. Now, what I want to look at is, do I have more divergence here? Yes, I do. Now, now I do just there. Let's just make sure at the right spot and I'll show you why in a moment. Okay, two, three. Okay, we are. So, see this here, see how my MACD is now dropping off. See that there, just there, all right? What we've got here is what we call a 2D divergence, right there, if we draw a line, very definite, very definite, not here, wishy-washy, and no divergence here, and wishy-washy, now we've got definite, that's what we call, this is what we call a loaded trade. Now, members watching this, you'll know where's our target. You already know where it is. It's the sign. Okay, we automatically go for the sign. So let's see what happens here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would personally be getting out here. I'm right at the sign and I'm right at the midline pivot. And bang, there's our bounce. Now, what have I now got here? We call this a 2BD. It is a lower probability trade. Why? I've just had divergence here and here. And quite often when we get these 2BDs, um, uh, you, you'll get stopped probably about 40% of the time. It's a lower probability trade, okay? And you'll see this all the time, all right? So see how this, and here's a classic case here. Even though you've got, notice the strength of the trend here. We've still got a good trend, okay? But it comes up, and now we get a secondary entry. Now I will take this one. The market loves to try things twice. Remember down here what we called this? We called that a bet the farm. Why? We had a, we had a double bottom against the 200 with divergence in the direction of the trend. What have I got just here traders? A double bottom against the cyan and the bet the farm is only again or only works with your two higher time frames look at my divergence so I want to take this trade as along what's my target six to eight steps oh, sorry six to ten when do I go break even look once you hit plus five steps now uh, that's five steps is um, $10 on this market. On the big contract, that's $100. Okay, so it's nothing to be sneezed at. If you're trading the big contract here, um, your target's 500 a day. Using the, you, you'd be trading exactly the same way. So we're going to use our, our buy stop again. Put our, uh, our stop one tick below. 
we're going to be stopped in one tick above. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now at six, I definitely want to go to break even. Seven. Now here, notice I've now hit the pivot again. I've got a reversal. Now, this is what we call a double top here. Note here I've got no divergence. Let's just see what I've got here on the higher time frame. Watch this. That's my bounce down here. And there's the bounce. That's it here. Up we come. Watch your MACD. Remember, you're flying by instruments here. Bang. See that there? See on my MACD? It's subtle, but it's dropping. Now, what is happening with the higher time frame? There it is. Just to make sure I've got exactly the right spot. And there it is right there. And we'll finish on this one. Now, it's starting to roll over, but your major divergence is there. So for my members in the if that are watching this, you know what we call that? We've got no divergence over here. We call that a 1D. Now, a 1D, I have to say, I'd love to say that my target would be down here. My initial target is here, the cyan, once again. Now, we enter here. So one, two, three, four. You've easily got your six again. Now, if you're trailing, look at this here. Uh, you've well and truly picked up your 10. So if you're out with your six, trailing your second lot. But that's, of course, if you're trading more than one. Now, okay, so just last of all, let me just show you this. To pick up the, the larger moves, what can we use using indicators? Something gets available on every platform. This is what I call the Jake Bernstein 8x8. Uh, of course, Jake's been in the trading industry for um, over 50 years, written many books, etc. See my crossover up here. Now, my entry is here, and this says to exit just here. Now, on your first contract, you definitely want to get the cash registering, and this is why I trade, is you can hit areas like this, but what you'll actually hit, though, is some great home runs, okay? And some of these runs, you're in, you're in. See, this is where you've got to watch these. Uh, here, you're in, you're in. Now, let's see if we pick up a home run here. You're in, you're in, you're in, you're still in. Now, you're out up here but some of these are good 10 uh, um, step moves or even more and some of these of course are 20 30 steps and see this here um, uh, we're staying in until we get a crossover and it's hard to tell on here but we've got the exact same thing but if you want to go for your runners there's a lot of things you can be doing to do that so traders we're 27 minutes into this so just in summary what we're looking at here is trading with the trend okay that's a 2b just there that's a 34b that's a 34 that's a 34b look at the timing now this is the uh that's central standard time by the way so um the first 10 to 15 minutes of the new york open which is 8 30 central 9 30 eastern uh it's what we call the killing field you've got to be very careful but the higher the time frame you're trading the easier it becomes to actually trade um so you can pick up, as you can see, your six step moves. They're all over the place. You only need five a day. So which are the highest probability? The two Bs. You'll kick butt nearly every day trading your two Bs. The deeper pullbacks and larger moves. So traders, once again, we've covered a lot of information in today's session. Uh, and where I cover these in great detail, very quick plug for what I do is, of course, for $197, you get all of my indicators. There's hundreds of hours of instruction. There's just, there, there literally is. There's dozens of handouts. Go to my website. I'm a day trader. Everything for $197, plus you get eight live two-hour sessions. And if you can't attend the sessions, the live sessions, they are recorded. And if you wish to attend, and we've got, as I said, over 200 members in the coaching room, it's only $97 a month. And I teach the best strategies. Traders, as I mentioned, just to do it, and I don't think I showed, I think this was on the first, um, uh, on the first one. So this is what I do. I've got probably one of the largest libraries. I don't say that to impress you. Seriously, I don't. What I want to say is I do the research. 
okay I've got just mountains of information some of the things that I do is that I've got a special custom made desk here that I've got uh, racks here with my trading rules etc is for different markets rather than have flip charts in front of me as I trade I've got them on cork boards and I've got special racks here where I've got these set up and actually you can probably even see down there I've got some favorite patterns of mine as well and so I have set up um, and I just want to give you some ideas here so I've got uh, set up I rack my rack over here and I put that particular one which has got other patterns on and I've got an even bigger one that sits over there now what it allows me to do is as I'm trading focused on my six screens here I can just when it quietens down I can be looking at my rules okay I can just quickly review without flipping anything the only thing I have in front of me which I'm flipping and taking notes on and you hear me talk about this all the time is my trusty spiral bound notebook is what I take notes on and I've got literally dozens of these now over the years I've put together so I'm taking notes as I trade traders this is a business um, uh, you, you can't be half interested in trading you've got to be a student of the markets now what I say is don't do that I've been doing this for 27 years you don't have to do that and I've made so many mistakes along, on, along the way but one thing which went for me is I know how to model look at what the best of the best do and how they do it and you know what's the syntax the word syntax means the order of things and so if there's a better mousetrap out there I'll tell you about it uh, but the best indicators quite frankly um, that, that are free yes I've got some really snazzy what I call snazzy uh, indicators that look cool uh, and some are good but you don't need to spend three thousand dollars on those nearly some of your best indicators are available free and as Richard Branson said something like any fool can make something look complicated all right traders so I will finish up so make sure you uh, go to my website become a member that's the best thing and don't forget to request my free training manual so thank you traders I'll see you on the next video where we're going to continue um, uh, trading on the right hand side but in the next video I'm going to be talking about how I have my own casino serious I'm going to be talking to you about how to trade like a casino and the theory behind it thanks traders